Hi guys, welcome to The Cook's Pantry. Now, there are reasons why duck a l'orange, honey chicken, lemon chicken are all cult classics. And what we're gonna do here today is our own little twist on that. It's part roast, part stir fry, whole roasted spatchcocks with spiced honey glaze. I feel like there's a lot of times in your life where you go to your favorite restaurant, you have dishes that have got that, that beautiful glaze, that sweetness, and you may think that it's a little bit out of reach and you can only do that in restaurants, but it really is so incredibly simple. And I thought, you know what? I wanna show you guys how it's done. So we're gonna work on that just a touch later. First things first, we wanna get started. Carrots, they're gonna go on the base of our roasting tray. Just gonna peel these off and slice them up nice and fine. You don't want them too chunky. So you need to, I guess, plan ahead a little bit because you've got your carrots, you've got your spatchcock. You wanna make sure if they're going in the oven at the same time, that they're gonna cook at relatively the same rate. Okay, so we're just gonna get all the peel off these and then we'll start to chop them up. This is the beautiful thing about this recipe. We're gonna throw veggies and spatchcocks all into the same roasting tray in the oven at the same time. And while that's doing its thing in there, I reckon we're gonna have more than enough time to make the glaze. Okay, so the carrots, we'll just take the top off them and we're just gonna cut down on the angle, just you know, around about a centimetre in size. So you've got your classic stir-fried carrot shape there. Okay, and we'll repeat that. So just down on the angle. So what that does, apart from making it authentic, it gives you a nice surface area as well. So it will cook faster uh, and you'll get some nice caramelization because you've got more surface area exposed. And the spatchcocks will sit over the top of that perfectly. Like you gotta think, if you were to put whole carrots in the base and then your spatchcock over the top, if it's in the oven for 25 minutes, half an hour, you probably won't get a good enough roast on your carrots. So you gotta think about that stuff. A few sesame seeds over the top. We'll just give that a bit of a toss. Two spatchcocks. So smaller bird, which means it's gonna cook quicker, but the meat is a lot sweeter, I find. Okay, so instead of going to get a whole chook, you wanna have a roast for dinner, go get two spatchcocks. That's, that's my solution. And I promise you, I think you'll find it hard to go back to a big old chook. Just saying, give it a shot. A pinch of salt. We've been having a little discussion here about what a pinch of salt is. And I think there can be a little bit of confusion out there with you guys as to when you're reading the recipe, you're thinking that a pinch is like that. A little, you know, thumb, pointy finger, that's not enough. So you wanna go a pinch, you wanna go about that amount. So we're looking at, I reckon about a tablespoon, and that is gonna make a huge difference when it comes to balancing out the flavors of your food. So keeping it really simple, these are gonna go in at 200. So a smaller bird, you need a high heat, to cook it at the right rate. So they're gonna go in, I reckon 25 minutes to start with, and that should give us plenty of time to get this glaze sorted. Now, believe it or not, the base to this glaze is actually, a, a, it's a caramel. So for all of you dessert kings and queens out there, it's time to put those skills to use in a savory dish. So we've got a nice heavy base saucepan here over a medium to high heat. You want a heavy base because it helps distribute the heat evenly and it won't sort of start to burn the edges of your caramel before the inside starts to melt. And that's what we're going to be looking for. The edges of the sugar will start to liquefy and then it will gently, see it's already starting to happen now, it'll start to encroach bit by bit. And what we're looking for is like a, in between a honey and a maple syrup. So you want a nice golden color, a little bit of bitterness in there. And once we've got that, then we'll introduce the orange juice. got that beautiful colour happening and you need to move quick now. Turn the heat off, in with the orange juice. So we've got 200 mils and be careful, it is gonna get a little bit cranky in there. So that's called cracking it. You wanna break the caramel. What it's gonna do, it stops the, the cooking of the caramel. So it's not gonna get any darker, any more bitter. That will then relax and melt into the orange juice. And I think why orange handles the intense sweetness and the bitterness of the caramel so well is because it's got that nice acidity to it. So that's gonna balance everything out. Star anise, orange star anise, absolute classic. And then a good hit of ginger, so about an inch. And just, just some nice slices of ginger. Don't have to be too precious with it because it's all gonna come out. In we go. And that's all you gotta do. So we're just gonna let that tick along, infuse, take out the flavors of the star anise, the ginger. That will, again, start to thicken up a little bit. And the way to test it, put a spoon in, take it out. If it's holding onto the spoon, cut it. 
it's done. The spatchcocks have been in the oven now for about 25 minutes at 200. And you can see there, look at that skin puffing up, looking spot on. So for the last couple of minutes in the oven, just gonna grab the snow peas and just pop them underneath each of the spatchcocks. So it's just gonna cook them through. They don't take very long at all, couple of minutes, and they'll essentially steam underneath the spatchcock as it's finishing cooking. Just gonna get a little bit of this glaze and just pop that over the top of these, just to start that caramelization process. All right back in the oven for probably another five minutes and then we're ready to serve. The spatchcocks have had their final five minutes in the oven with the snow peas underneath and this is what we are left with. So I'm just gonna unload the chooks onto a little rack here. Veggies on the base of the plate. So you've got all of that beautiful juice from the spatchcocks themselves, that little bit of glaze that went over the top, and you can see it's just started to colour those up. Look at that. Like I promised you guys, it's part stir fry, part roast, but entirely delicious. And then a good hit of our orange glaze over the top. And for me, I reckon that's middle of the table, big bowl of steamed rice on the side, and let everyone sort themselves out.